lords and ladies welcome back to another hogwarts episode we're finally getting to this trial not gonna in this lie. place as in life death takes many forms avoid each of them at all costs I'm not gonna lie i kind of forgot that i was um i don't how do i crouch oh, okay Excuse me? Okay, good. I was like, how am I supposed to get through if I can't cast magic? And what? Do I just not walk into them? I mean, that seemed easy enough. I thought that was going to be more of a challenge, not going to lie. Okay, maybe this will be a challenge. I should have run when I could. I'd be free by now. <laughs> That's a weak moral potion. That's dumb. How I can I can cast spells in here, but I can't. Or I can collect wig and wolf potions. This is my I chance. Can't cast spells. Coming, Neef. Neef. Weird name. I need to time this just right. I assume that's the right timing. I mean, this is. I mean, now that now that I'm doing this, actually, this is really. Easy. I see a staircase straight ahead. Hello. Hells this water. Death. This reminds me way too much of the Deathly Hollows storytelling when you know part two where Hermione Ladder. tells the story. Perhaps they won't be able to find me if I go up there. No, I think they will. Um, when Hermione is telling the story of the Deathly Hollows, and it goes into the cinematic part portion of the storytelling, they're gone for now. I need to get this out. This reminds there. me of this. Where could Neve this, be? That reminds you of this. Too many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. That's where I need to go, but I need to find a way past them. Okay. Let's just wait. Turn. <sighs> shit, 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 shit. Go back this way. I was being impatient. There we go. Oh, hey, Death. How you doing, bud? Nothing this way, but more danger. Must be to find you. I need to turn back. There's no getting past them that way. Hello. Not gonna lie, you kind of got me there. Close tight. No way but forward, I suppose. Hi, Timmy. Uh. 
shit. Well, that went swell. And by swell, it meant terrible. But there's nothing you could do. Neither could I. We both did amazing work. So why are they giving us Wigan World Potions if we just can't Close survive? Tight. No way but forward, I suppose. That doorway looks like the only safe way forward. Hello? You're gonna turn? Now's my chance. Oh, hi. No, no, no! Don't let them take me! That's the way forward. I knew it. It is the Deathly Hollows. Can this be? I think I'm invisible. I freaking knew it. It's the Deathly Hollows. I'm invisible. They can't see me at all. I can get closer to them. I'm invisible, even to death. But can death see me? I don't think so. Death can't see me because I'm made of his own cloak. This is the way forward. Finally free. Now, where are you, Neve? So that was. Part one. I mean, technically, that's part three because I was the third. You have outrun death thus far, but have yet to find me. Keep searching, but this time you will be unable to hide. Wield the wand you see before you. Do not squander its extraordinary power. Of course. First a cloak to hide from death. Second one to control death. I get the of course the last part is going to be the stone so we can finally find I've her. never felt such power. Bombada. Oh, I'm limited to these spells. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Uh, okay. Hello. Like this, it is pretty easy. Bomb 
harder. I fumbled a little bit, couldn't decide if I wanted both or just one of them. Um, but I decided to just go with the one because it's gonna be a little bit too much finagling with the enemies and trying to control them for me to care. So I just got the one, at least one. So I think I just need one more dueling feat to get the next challenge. Stupid 
Last I just want I I want taking the power of this wand. Cause it's a really nice wand. I'm going to lose it after this. Yep, see there it is. A simple stone. This must be for me. There it is. The second gift from death. from finished past she's gone dear sweet <laughs> me. may her memory be a treasure to us forever sorry death I'm taking her back you found me but you cannot undo what has been done the magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. Oh. Still. What, what wisdom do you lay upon me? But there is no light without shadow as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Very true. Remember that as you witness my memory. Always take the good with the bad, guys. Always take the good with the bad. Third mysterious item. Isadora, what you did for your father was remarkable. Wasn't it? And Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits. You sound like Percival. And as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. You saw again. what I did for my father. Mia, imagine the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. What are you doing? Breathe it in. Oh, can you feel it? Oh, Isadora. This must stop. All of it. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it.
Revelio. Is it true? Has someone completed the first three trials? It is, and I have. But you are so... Young? I know. You must be Professor Bacar. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed was Isadora inhaling painful emotions. She was. I found it disturbing. But how did she gain power from it? How did she harness it? It was disturbing. Although, I wonder that you are asking about her power. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizardkind. We have no time to waste. I see. Nonetheless, the knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. I shall require time to confer with the other keepers. It seems we have no choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. I heard what you told Professor Bakar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power? She was. And she pulled emotions, as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald. Without permission. Monstrous. What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in goblin silver. The repositories? Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganak? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lodgok soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey. I shouldn't have reacted so bitterly about your goblin friend. I apologize. I hope we can finish what we started with the triptych. Please meet me at the southern coast. We can search for the final canvas piece.
can do this. I can do this. They will want to help. Is this where we're meeting the centaurs? Well, they don't exactly know we're coming, so it's less of a meeting and more of a surprise, I suppose. I'm not sure about this. I can't imagine they're fond of being surprised. We don't have a choice if we want to help the Snidgets. Perhaps they'll be able to tell that we're sincere? There's something about them that's so... knowing. It's almost unnerving. I suppose they are known for having an air of omniscience. That's exactly the right word. I just... never mind. What is it? It's nothing, truly. I've... we've no secrets to hide. Speaking of secrets, I do want to tell you why Victor Rookwood's after me. He's working with Ranrock, and Ranrock's after something I found at Gringotts. Fig had a portkey that led us there after the dragon attack. It's a bit of a long story, and Fig's asked that I not speak of it yet. Goodness. Well, that certainly helps explain a bit about what we saw back at Horntail Hall. Of course, I'll guard your secret as if it were my own. Even the centaurs won't know. We'll simply be honest with them about what we're trying to do. They'll have to help us, won't they? Yes, of course. You're absolutely right. We'll meet with them, tell them about the Snidgets, and I'm sure to all be fu- That relic is the key to saving Anne. I know it. Meet me outside of Feldcroft as soon as you can. What do you think you're doing here, humans? Please! We were hoping to speak with you- Ah! I suppose you'd like a tale for your friends of the time you spoke to a centaur, and it spoke back. No, never. We're here because we need your help. Enough! You made a grave error in judgment in coming here, little witch. Leave them be, Elric. We do not harm the young. It is not our way. You forget your place, old fool. I'm the leader of this herd, and while you cling to our way, their kind continue to slaughter beasts like us without a care! From what I can see, they have slaughtered no one. They will leave here unharmed. Mark my words, Doran. If I ever see them again, it will be all three of your heads. <laughs> Foolish children. Do you know what happens to wizards who wander here? Now. Follow me before Golden I... Snidgets are still alive, and the poachers are after them. They know that the key to finding them lies in the moonlight, but they don't know what that means, yet. Please, help us find the Snidgets before the poachers do. Could it be? In the south, there is a cave within which lies what the poachers seek. A moonstone. Retrieve it and place it in the henge in the forest. I, on the other hand, must go speak with the herd. Find me after you have done this. I don't understand. So the moonlight mentioned in the journal doesn't refer to actual moonlight, but to a moonstone. What do moonstones have to do with Snidgets? And why was he so certain about where we could find one? He could have been a bit clearer, or stayed a moment and answered our questions. Centaurs can be cryptic. Gran says no one talks more in circles than a centaur. It is a shame how quickly he left. What was his name? Doran. That's what the leader of the herd called him. Well, if Doran knows something we don't, I'd rather act now and ask questions later. I can head to the library and start looking into the cave you mentioned. I'll let you know what I find. Lords and ladies, I do want to apologize. This is the Chaos King coming from the future, apologizing. 
for the failure of my care camera and recording device. Apparently it looks like my camera froze at they're about, you know, halfway through this episode. And my microphone stopped picking up stuff. So I won't apologize for that. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this video. And as always, stay royal, my friends.